Wide Open Outdoor Adventures with your host, Dave Baltier. We'll make you a better sportsman. Subscribe to the Wide Open Sportsman YouTube channel today. Alright, our first stop is West Palm Beach, and then we're working our way down to Key West. Scuba diving coming your way on the wide open. Don't miss this. The adrenaline's starting to pump, the lights are dimming in the plane. Don't go anywhere, it's gonna get good right now. West Palm Beach is a big little city. The population here is just over 100,000 people. But between here and Miami, there are 5 million people. Across the bay at Palm Beach Island, you'll find the ultra-rich who live the lifestyle of the rich and famous. This place is over the top. I'm here in West Palm Beach. I'm actually going to be diving with Pura Vida divers. We're going to dive the Anna Sea. The Anna Sea is a sequence of wrecks, and we're going to drift along this drift dive. We'll have a nice slow current, at least that's what we're hoping. And we're going to be looking for these giant grouper. They're bigger than me. It's going to get good right now. Well, we're leaving the harbor right now here out of West Palm Beach. Pura Vida divers and we're going to Breakers Reef. It's going to be the first dive on our two tank dive and it's basically about 60 foot of water, all kinds of aquatic life below there. Our second dive is on a sea and that's going to be a sequence of wrecks and we're going to drift across and cover as much territory as we can depending on the current and we're going to look for these massive giant grouper. Got good stuff coming your way right now. Yeah. Where the Breakers is located is off of Palm Beach. It's in about 50, 60 feet of water. And it begins our very long, for several miles, reef span that travels down south from there. Beautiful, beautiful marine life that we have from the larger uh, species, such as the, the occasional goliath or shark or something, to schooling fish and tiny little invertebrates. So we've got a lot of really great things in store for you today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wide open outdoors, baby! Okay. Alright guys, so for this next dive we're going to be doing what's called the Corridor. It's a series of wrecks that we do out here in West Palm. Um, it starts off with the Anna Cecilia. So what Captain's going to do is going to bring us just south of the Anna Sea, probably about 400 or 500 feet or so, and we're going to drop off and we're going to go right down. Okay, We're going to go in with what's called a negative entry. You don't know what a negative entry means? It's just having all the be all the air out of your BCD right when you jump in, so you don't have to sit around on the surface, okay? So right when we jump in, I want to see everyone just go ahead and start going down. Make sure you remember to equalize on the way down, all right? Um, the plan is going to be getting down through the wreck. We're going to go right onto the front of the bow of it, okay? Right in front of the bow, if you guys look, get down into the sand. 
you're going to see lots of Goliath groupers. It's Goliath grouper spawning season right now. So they're coming in by the numbers, and they like to hang around these wrecks, okay? So we'll probably see a lot of those guys. If you hear any, like, sonic boom, uh, kind of like big thumps underwater, you can kind of feel it in your chest. That's actually the Goliath groupers barking. They do this kind of weird thing with their gills, and you can see them sometimes, and they make this weird booming sound. So if you feel that underwater, just know that it's the Goliath groupers down there. It's pretty cool. Um, so we're going to drift right into the bow of the Anna Cecilia here. The deck sits at about 68 feet. The top of the wheelhouse is probably at about 55, 60 feet, okay? So just keep that in mind whenever we go down. We're going to float around that 60 foot range. So right when we roll right into it, use that wheelhouse to go around it and hide from the current, okay? Very important to hide from the current. <laughs> you are hiding. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Very important to hide from the current, okay, guys? We're going to hang on this wreck for about 15 minutes or so, okay? Once that uh, 15 minutes is up, I want everyone to meet me on the stern of the NSC. I will be banging my tank back and forth, back and forth. It's very annoyingly. You'll know that that's the time that we're going to move on, okay? We're going to meet up at that stern, and we're going to take a northwest uh, direction. There's little stuff in the sand that can actually help you guide, but just follow me. I will be in front showing us where we're going to the next wreck. The next wreck is called the Mitzvah, okay? I'm going to try and bring you guys on the western side of that because there's a nice big blowout on the wreck that the Goliaths like to hang out inside there. Um, it's a cool little swim through all through the Mitzvah here. If you choose to go through there, just know that it is an older wreck and it is starting to like cave in every now and then. So some parts of it might not be safe. So just keep in, keep in mind for that, okay guys? Uh, around the back side, this is where I will be. I'm gonna hook off right here. It's actually a nice big garage, like open area behind here. You're more than welcome to come around and go inside there and you can explore inside the wreck right there. We're only gonna be at this probably for like that five, 10 minutes or so until I see everyone around this back door area. Then we're gonna move along, okay? Next thought we're going to do is drift across this superstructure. It's actually the top wheelhouse of the Amaryllis, so it's not too big and too flashy or anything. We're just going to drift right alongside it, okay? We're not going to stop at it. Then we're going to run into this rock pile. We will stay on the right-hand side of that rock pile, and we will drift right into the bow of the Amaryllis. The Amaryllis is a giant, like, 300-foot boat, but it has been completely gutted out, so it looks like a giant canoe. So what we'll do is we'll use the actual um, side of the boat to hide from the... I dive with Nitrox. It's a mixture of compressed air and oxygen. It enables you to increase your bottom time. In other words, you can make longer dives before you need decompression. You have to be Nitrox certified to use this oxygen-enriched air. And they require special equipment, and you have to test your tanks and follow special procedures at the dive shop. Your tanks have your name on them, and you're responsible for them. Knowledge is power in the wide open. Another rock pile to the left-hand side of it, and we'll go into what's called the China Barge. It's just a nice little barge, cool to poke around, see some barracudas on it, and uh, if we make it there, past that, it's just rubble, we'll end our dive, okay? So if you're still with me at that time, we'll go ahead and go up and conduct that safety stop. date and then whether I was like working on the boat or just like Alright, we're good. That was awesome. Now that was a good dive. Good stuff. Good Get some good video. Oh, awesome. That was an awesome dive. Awesome. <laughs> Well, the first dive, I kind of got blown out. The current took the dive master away from me, and I wasn't able to really follow along. But Blaze, the second dive, was awesome. Thanks, man. Blaze, it was good. Definitely. It was a great time out there. How would you summarize it? 
Oh man, it was a pretty good current, definitely. As you can tell, we had to get a little bit more of a lead than usual, um, but it worked out great. You got in, you went down where we needed to go, and uh, at about that 100 foot range, we were kind of just sitting on the sand waiting to uh, drift up to the to the wreck. And that's when we saw our first Goliath hanging down there uh, on that anchor. And that's when I was like pointing to you, like, hey man, Goliath right there. Uh, and then that's when we saw the four or five of them. And you, you took it right in, got the camera right in there. How'd you like it? Oh man, it was. I was stoked when I first saw them. I knew they were there, but I also knew that you said stay away from the side of the wreck because that current's going <laughs> to blow you by the wreck. So I found myself at a point of no return. I was under there filming them, and then I had to just get myself up into the upper compartment, and there you were. And that was awesome. Then you found another hatch for me to go down, another uh, grouper down in there. That was. Tell me about that. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Um, so once we got up on the deck, I met you right back in the spot where we said we were going to meet. And uh, I saw at the time, right when we were going there, that two were kind of move, making their way underneath uh, below the actual first deck surface. So I was like, all right, come on in here. Um, let's check them out, see what they're doing down there. So he went under, or you went under and saw those guys. And that's uh, that was pretty much it from there, man. It was perfect glass down there. Well, that one was monstrous, and, and it, he went like what into a slit in, in between the metal of the wreck, and, and then he was gone. And then I saw you there, and I thought, well, I looked back, tried to see if I could maybe see him coming through, and who knows where he went. He went into a little, a little pocket or a little hiding spot. Oh, yeah, they got their yeah. spots down there, but I'll tell you what, it was a lot easier for them to move under there than it was for us, right? Well, yeah, <laughs> and, and you had that grappling hook, and you used that to kind of... Uh, alert the other divers that were moving from one wreck to another. So tell me about why there's wrecks are in concession like that. Were they put down there, artificial reefs? Yes, sir. So all the wrecks that are there, uh, that first one we, we were on is called the Anna Cecilia. That was actually dropped uh, last July. So it's pretty new. Um, as for the wrecks that are all in that cer certain area, they're all artificially done. And um, so once we hit off that Anna Cecilia, we move over to what's the Mitzpah, which was the second wreck that we went to. Right on. And that one, as you could tell, was a little bit more um, deteriorated and was caving in a little bit more because it's been, it's a pretty old wreck down there. Um, and that was the one that all the Goliaths would go to and aggregate around until the Anna C came in. And now they kind of just move forward onto the newer wreck. And it was like, oh, cooler holes and stuff for them. So. Yeah, yeah, it was just perfect as you described it. You kind of would signal us, okay, it's time to move on to the next one. And we had to really watch our dive computers because we're at 65, 70, 75 feet. And we were there for a pretty good length of time. And my dive computer was warning me, you know, come up. you got to mm -hmm. come up. You can't stay at this depth any longer. And so I was playing that game and then following you. But we ended up getting some awesome shots over the bow and over the stern and some of the big towers that kind of stuck up. Oh, and yeah. I was able to shoot the camera back up at them and, and get some pretty mystique-looking kind of shots. And then, you know, clank, clank, clank. You're like, all right, it's time to go to the next <laughs> one. And I'm like, all right. And that current was just perfect, I thought. And, of course, if you get way out in it, it would wash you away. Definitely. But but you gave me good coaching on the front end. We get in the water, empty the BC. Go down as fast as you can because that current will get you in the wrong place. That's what we did. We got in a good setup. And then we finished kind of what was the next reef that we hit on? The, uh, so what we finished on um, was that Amaryllis, which was that long, like 300-foot, like canoed out uh, boat there. Yeah. And after we drifted through that, that was pretty much time for you. And I said, see you later, Dave. I'm off, and you were pretty much done from there. Um, as for like that rubble and stuff you were kind of going over, that was actually uh, parts of the bridge from Flagler Bridge that they dropped some uh, new rubble out there. So it's pretty neat for you to see that too. Um, but other than that, going through that Amaryllis and after hitting that China barge, that was pretty much the end of the dive, and we went all the way through the corridor, which is awesome. What do you think our bottom time was for that dive? Our bottom time was 35 minutes, I believe. After taking into account the safety stop, of course, and then getting on the surface, you probably came up at about 42 minutes or so, yeah. which was yeah. excellent for a second deep dive. That was awesome. Well, Pura Vida Divers has an awesome setup here. We just met at the boat ramp, and there was the boat. Everything was set up. The crew was great, the dive masters was great, the, fi the, the, the fish were there, the water clarity was excellent. West Palm Beach has a lot to offer. So call them at the number at the bottom of your screen and they can make that next trip the trip of a lifetime. Thanks, man. Thank you, Dave, it was awesome. We got to blaze a trail with Blaze here in West Palm Beach, Florida. It right. was good.
We have more Diving Florida coming on YouTube. Look for it next on WideOpenSportsman.com. Special thanks to our amazing sponsors. We couldn't do what we do without them. WideOpenSportsman.com. Just get out there. Visit WideOpenSportsman.com every day for your daily fix of adrenaline. You know, it's always wide open.